Ain't No Half Stepping with Marcus J, live from the den. Legacy, internet, radio. Thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody who has been rocking, of course, with us today, tonight. Uh, we really, really, really appreciate the last segment. We had outstanding guests. We had, when we were talking about cognac and cufflinks, we'll be having uh, an outstanding event that we're honored to be a part of coming up on this Wednesday, hashtag brother and sister shenanigans will be broadcasting live from Bar Louie. Outstanding event. Looking forward to it. Uh, but we're going to move on and we're going to have some fun having a conversation, uh, bringing back to the microphone uh, our brother, the couch coach, our brother, Sean Love, uh, our sister, Dating Pool Diva, and our sister, Q Boogie. And Big Bro Joe will join us momentarily. Uh, you know, I'm not quite sure where I'm going to start. Um, I already told you guys, listeners, as well as crew, that we are going to basically talk about the weekend that we just had with the President of the United States and the comments that he made and the uh, the result of, of those comments. But I felt that it would be appropriate to start off that segment by juxtaposing what is presidential? What does presidential sound like? What does it look like? So when we have the discussion tonight, we'll have some sort of backdrop to know exactly what we're talking about. So let's kind of get the, the, the launching point kind of uh, brought in here. So I'm going to play a clip. Uh, one piece of this clip is presidential. One piece of the clip is not presidential. I'll let you all decide. Take a listen. Honoring our flag and our anthem uh, is part of what binds us together as a nation. Part of what makes this country special is that we respect people's rights to have a different opinion and to make different decisions about how they want to express their concerns. And the test of our fidelity to our Constitution to freedom of speech, to our Bill of Rights, is not when it's easy, but when it's hard. We fight sometimes so that people can do things that we disagree with. In a democracy like ours, there are going to be a lot of folks who do stuff that we just don't agree with. But as long as they're doing it within the law, then we can voice our opinion objecting to it, but it's also their right. Wouldn't you love to see one of these NFL owners when somebody disrespects our flag to say, get that son of a bitch off the field right now, out, he's fired. He's fired! Ain't no house stepping with Marcus J, live from the den. Legacy Internet Radio. So, so we, 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 we have the backdrop set up. Um, I wanted to play the president plural two of them obviously 44 and 45 Barack Hussein Obama and Donald John Trump uh, as our last two presidents and basically listen to them both discussing their positions on the flag uh, Barack Obama was the president when this all started last year and Donald Trump obviously is the president now with Donald Trump's son of a bitch comment that he made Friday night in Alabama, he ignited a whole lot of people. And so what I want to do now is I want to get you all in, coach you up first as the host of our sports show. Talk to us about what you heard when you heard the president of the United States speak this way of the athletes that you cover on your show. It is very interesting to me because I, we touched on a, a young lady by the name of Jamel Hill Two week, well, two weeks from Friday, and how a lot of people said that she needed to stay in her lane, that sports was her thing, and even me and um, my co-host here, Sean Lover, we both discussed with her being a, because she's honestly is a journalist, so she still has that kind of realm to to do what she did. But then it's funny, no one said anything about when the president said these about sports because once upon a time it used to be a point when you did what it was there were two separate lanes where you, they never crossed ever 
I mean, you would say the president may say certain things. Like I remember one time Obama said something about the college football playoffs, but it wasn't nothing flaming. That was just him from a fan perspective. He's coming out and pretty much saying that if you if you you know if you don't stand for the flag, you deserve to be fired. And I want to. This is a different angle where I want to go with it. To be honest with you, where he said it, Alabama. That then. He's speaking, yeah, right. He's speaking that language. He's doing is trying to enrage that that type. But he's trying to get them going. Yeah, his base. And then, to be honest with you, and this is something that you probably remember, Marcus J. I honestly think what he's trying to do, he just being. I think he's still petty about the whole USFL folding. You know, it's funny that you say that, right? Because to be to be honest with you, because like, why would you come Real talk. to to a, to an industry like that where? Cause you was supposed you were supposed to be this guy that was supposed to take down the NFL NFL with the USFL and then if and then the league just imploded in your face and one they probably wanted arguably one of his biggest failures yeah. of his of of his of his um and he sued but yeah and he sued and he got a, what a dollar and twenty something cent he got yeah I mean a dollar and twenty three I, I don't know how you open up a store across the street from a store that does what you do exactly. for much longer than what you do and then when you fail you sue them right <laughs> and they gave i think he still has it framed yeah i mean i don't know how crazy i don't know how smart that is but i mean it, it does appear to be par for the course sean um jump in here tell me your thoughts you got the president of the united states called and let's be clear he didn't specifically call anybody specifically yeah i got you so yeah. you know and i think and the reason why i clarify that is because the narrative all along has been that he called Colin Kaepernick yeah. a son of a bitch. And we know that Colin Kaepernick is kind of the face of this kneeling yeah. uh, because he was the first to do it with the level of prominence, even though there had been others who were doing it before yeah. him. Yeah. Uh, but jump in here, bro. What you got? Well, you know, vanity is a hell of a sin. Um, you know, I, I do believe he said that just to get the cheers because he know that's what they want to hear. I remember an uh, interview he did years ago he was saying if he did run for president he'd be a republican because he know that those people are not smart in some type of way mm. but um i believe that every time he says something it's starting to trigger a lot of people to come together i watched every I'm t when i watched the nfl yesterday i do really think that they were trying to figure out a way to make their way through this situation but i did see everybody together you know what i mean and you know i'm gonna look at it that way i saw everybody together even the, some of the dumb ones that i mean i want to say dumb some of the people who made certain choices and did certain things felt like they had to get on their knees both knees <laughs> go ahead and talk about ray lewis man because you know we don't have step. Hey, man, two we, knees I, I'm we don't have step here go ahead i and always talk about do ray. this but i'm from akron and two of the, the when he almost went to jail he that dude one of those dudes was almost so close to me you know what i mean in some type of way like a cousin from a cousin you know what i mean yeah so we we know how ray lewis is you know what i mean but i saw people coming together and then you know like while i was at work the conver conversations was happening you know what i mean but that's my take on it. i feel like even even charlottesville you know what he said and then the next day they didn't really show how people was together there of charlottesville you know what I mean, for the young lady that died and everything that happened. And then certain people came out and said, this is not what our city is about. Right. You know what I mean? Right. So, you know, I, I see that part, but <laughs> he's a performer. It, well, he is. He's a performer. Uh, he, 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 he is. And, you know, the thing about it all that I, I found fascinating, Diva, was the fact that he called folks who kneeled during the national anthem and didn't salute the flag, sons of bitches. But I don't remember that kind of strong rhetoric for the guy who took a car and drove through a crowd killing yeah. a young woman in Charlottesville. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you get a lot of these folks on the right. Um, most of them talk a lot of trash in social media that they would never say to your face, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, every once in a while you gotta deal with that. You know, when you put yourself in this position as we have done. And it's only those it's a certain type of people that's talking also. It's yeah. a certain type of individual well, that it, is talking. It, it, well, and I think they've been, they've been empowered by this guy because the last guy 
offended them so much mm-hmm. just by virtue of his sheer presence. Yeah. And let me just say this thing about being black in this country, Dave. I want you to jump in. Let me just okay. make this real last point, and, and, and then I'll, I'll turn the mic back over to you. But, you know, you get a lot of folks who was running around talking about Barack Obama wasn't all black. He didn't have the black experience. He had to marry Michelle, and he's not a real African-American and all of that stuff. But you know what? His daddy is from Africa. His mom is from America. He's more black than we are. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, And the other thing with that is you're black if a certain section of white folk have no use for you. They treat you a certain kind of way. That's yeah. how you can find out how black you are. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? When you had Dylan Roof getting money from folks after he had shot up a church. Like, that's a dude that does not deserve any support from anybody. anybody. Mm-hmm. But there were a lot of people who sent money in for his defense. And a lot of those folks have a problem with Colin Kaepernick and others kneeling during the national anthem. So I just want to yeah. make that point. Jump in here, David. What you got? Well, that was the first time I had heard that clip, and but I'm not at all surprised because that's just how Donald Trump is. He's the most ignorant, like, figure, and I just, I was just whispering off the air. I, I can't believe he is our president. Like, you can just call people sons of bitches. Like, that's okay. You can, you know, threaten to bomb another country. As a president, like, I can, I cannot believe this is September. Going into October, I still can't believe he's our president. And we got at, at least another <laughs> like, three plus years of this. Yeah. That's if we not wiped off the map. By yeah, then. we're not dead from a nuclear bomb or something like yeah. that by then. Yeah. 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 I, I just can't believe it. And I think it's real disrespectful. And, you know, I, I think that Donald Trump, like, you know, he was saying, is basically just trying to get a rouse out of people. He's a performer. But you he's know not the, a president. But you know the crazy part about this, Diva? is that this behavior is becoming normalized. It's becoming normal to have a president that got caught on a hot mic talking about he's going to sexually assault a woman. It's becoming normal for a president to use profanity during a public speaking event. It's becoming normal for the president of the United States to shout out his wife wishing that she had been there when she's standing next to him. Mm -hmm. He didn't even know she was standing there. I don't know Mm -hmm. if everybody saw that clip. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know if everybody saw that, but he was was in, I believe he was in Florida, or he was in one of the hurricane-damaged areas, and he he, he paid homage to Melania and said that she, you know, really wanted to be here, and she was standing (laughs) next to him. Y'all came together on Air Force One. (laughs) Yeah. They really ain't together, though. I, I really believe you know she's I mean? in a domestic yeah. violence. She knows. I mean, like, you know, I, I, I don't think, been empty for a while. I don't oh think there's goodness. any question that, you know, I, you know, I don't want to go there. But I, I, since it came up, I, I guess I will comment. <laughs> I don't think there's any question, just in my personal opinion, of just being a dude and seeing how dudes and, and ladies interact with each other publicly. Mm-hmm. You know, there's literally no, no warmth there. You know, like mm-hmm. I can speak to myself and... And, and I think I can speak for the coach and, and, and Sean here, but y'all, my sisters, I pick on y'all like relentlessly. You know, people are around, they know I love y'all. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like right. it's, it's noticeable, you know, that's, you know, they, you, you learn that as a child, little boys pick on the girls they like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, 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 and it, it, well, <laughs> it, it, it's, it's really, it's really, it's really not. It is. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> but, you know, jump in here, Boogie. I mean, this is a good spot for you to jump in. What's your thoughts on all of this? First off, somebody earlier said that look at, look at Ray Lewis and his take me to the King's dance. <laughs> 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 I guess we mentioned it, we brushed over it, but I guess for those folks who don't know what the Ray Lewis thing is, you know, ba- basically Ray Lewis was very critical of Colin Kaepernick and others kneeling for the national anthem. And then yesterday, after the president said what he said, Ray Lewis was out there in London when the Ravens played, uh, uh, I guess they played Jacksonville yeah. and got smacked. Uh, but during the pregame national anthem, you know, he was out there, and he wasn't just on the knee. Like, visually, both knees. visually, <laughs> both knees. Vi- visually, it was just funny to see him on Look both knees. Right I don't know what that was about. <laughs> you know, like, I, pray yeah, right I don't, I don't know, I don't know what that was about. I'm gonna show, you know, the crew uh, <laughs> uh, 
you know, because they're, you know, the the the, the internet literally never loses. Like yes, the, never. The, the internet, the, 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 the internet is literally <laughs> real talk. The in, the internet is like for all the time. Like it's just not. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you you know what lose. I mean? Like it's like Nas. I will not lose. Check check that out, y'all. <laughs> you know, to those folks who are oh, fan, fan yeah. of. Trading places, right? Yo. Y'all remember Eddie Murphy? Yeah, yeah. you know, with yeah. no legs. Oh. You, you, you know. I can yeah, see. I, mean I can yeah. see. Yeah. I got legs. Yeah. I, see, I seen one. <laughs> him yeah. saying he's trying to come back to the cookout. Oh oh, <laughs> you yes, know, and, and, and you know, we have a little, we have a little fun with it. But the reality is, like, when you flip flop like that, you know, it's hard because you know. Black people and black culture, like we are a culture of the Apollo Theater. Like w- once you whack, you 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 you, you, you get to you you kind of done. Now yeah. whether that's fair or not, you know we can debate. We can debate whether that's fair or not because everybody deserves a second chance. Like everybody deserves a second yeah. chance. Michael Vick's on TV right now. You know what I'm saying? So I'm pretty confident that yeah. Colin Kaepernick eventually gonna be all right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But this whole thing is just crazy. I want I want to get some other pieces of. This uh, this 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 thing and coach uh, coming back to you. Okay. Um, talk to us about Steph Curry and <laughs> set up the okay. the the President Trump versus Steph Curry thing for the listeners, and we're gonna talk about. Okay. That. Well, the um, when the Warriors won the championship in June. Now, prior to them, went, um, well, a little bit after they won the championship, they had a meeting and discussed that they pretty much wanted, wasn't going to go to the White House. So. It's done. We, this happened in July, so this like three, almost three months ago. So now, Trump hit, says, "Well, you know, Steph Curry, he's not invited to Steph Curry of the Warriors aren't invited he's to the White House." So he pretty much rescinded the invitation, even though they didn't accept the invitation. <laughs> in other words, so basically, <laughs> let me just get this right, Diva. I'm having a party, and you say I ain't coming. And then I say, well, you're not invited you're not no invited more. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> like Imagine. I call you, I call you up and say, you come to my party. You say no. Then I say, well, you ain't invited anyway. <laughs> I mean, like and that's what they would say. And, 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 yeah, and it did. Yeah, and it's, yeah. it's unfortunate. I would be Trumpian in, in that way, but <laughs> you know. But so, what you think about it, Coach? I mean, I think it's just one of those things that it speaks to his narcissism. No, yeah. because to me, it's like if they've already decided, because what it is. It's, it was a story that kind of got bur- buried. We knew that happened in the summer. You're going to bring it up now as basketball season starts in a couple of weeks, and you're like, oh, well, I didn't, he wasn't invited anyway. What was even the point of that? Right. 804-402-2893 is the number to dial. You want to rock with us, we'll roll with you. 804-402-2893 is the number to dial. Uh, jump ahead, Q-Boogie. Uh, what's your thoughts? Donald Trump, uh, you said you like basketball. Yes. You know, so I like the game of basketball. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where the hell that came from, <laughs> but it was real cool, though. I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't know where that came from. What uh, comic relief from Q Boogie? So, what, what's your what's your thoughts? Steph Curry versus Donald Trump? Uh, what? Um, firstly, firstly, firstly. Um, yes, that's a word for you. Try to clown me. So <laughs> there, like, just like Coach said, there was no argument there. Like that, like you said, there's you calling me up to say, "Hey, you coming to my party?" And I'm like, "No." Nah. You're like, "Well, I ain't want you to come no way." So why'd you call me? Because <laughs> <laughs> he just wants something you call to say. Me? Yeah. And it's like Trump is like every time I see him do something. Trumpian. More and more ridiculous and Trumpian. It reminds me of the movie Wag the Dog. It reminds me of like, let me, it, everything that I'm doing right now is literally failing. Like he likes, he loves to call everything else everybody else is doing is failing. But everything you are touching is falling apart. Yeah. And you're like, well, Steph Curry said he won't come. Let's look at that. And everybody's like, we, we don't care. Like, why is it that we still dealing with Flint having no clean water? Why is it that Puerto Rico, yeah. which is a part of, of the United States, is underwater and nobody has said anything about that? Like, why, we have way more than you. You run around here calling the man that has, like, basically all the nukes Rocket Man. It's like, yo, we got so many other things that are way more important than you were because Steph, Steph Curry said no to your birthday party. Yeah. Like, uh, that's, <laughs> yeah. that's what you mad about. Like, it, <laughs> every time he opens his mouth, like, it's a weird fascination I have with Trump. Because I hate watch him. Do you follow him on Twitter? Hell no. No, I actually like, 
one of my goals is to be like Chrissy Teigen and get blocked by him soon. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, that's one of my goals. Yeah. Because yeah. I, I like tweet stuff to him. We're going to so come like, back yeah. to the North Korea thing, though, because I want to spend some time on that. Yeah. We definitely we definitely going to come back to Rocket Man and Dotard. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and big, uh, big Bro Joe has rejoined uh, the show, and he, he's been sitting here for a minute. So get you in on uh, – we're not going to go backwards, but I want you to jump in here on President Donald Trump and Steph Curry uh, and – the, the stuff with the NFL, I mean, it is what it is. We didn't spend a whole lot of time on that. But once everything gets introduced, if anybody wants to go back to it, we can. 804-402-2893 is the number to dial. But, you know, when you get NBA players tweeting about you and calling you a bum like LeBron James did in reference to uh, Donald Trump saying – that Steph Curry and and I'm not even sure if he lumped the Warriors into that. I don't know, Coach. Do, do you know if he lumped the Warriors or is it just Steph Curry? It was just Steph Curry. He okay. did it at Steph Curry. Yeah, at Steph Curry. All right, Joe, yeah. <laughs> jump jump in here. Donald Trump has been. You can you can address Donald Trump and Steph Curry or Donald Trump in the NFL because that's what we've laid on the table so far. Well, the whole situation with Donald Trump and Steph Curry. Mm-hmm. I mean, that was a sour grapes thing for me. You know. <laughs> you know you can't reach the top the top shelf so you going to just jump up there and try to knock the whole shelf down to get to it that's what that was for me right and Steph took the high road which you know it was the smart thing to do because it didn't give Trump anything to talk about alright right. your tweets are over good done I think personally that that was raggedy <laughs> on the president's part right. I mean to me this is, he just does childish things is he not raggedy? Well, all the time. I mean, ever since he's been in office. But I mean, that's just childish. Oh, long before that. Well, long before that. But I'm just <laughs> yeah. saying, well, you know. He, no, I got this, you. Well, he smacked his atmosphere. Like, you know, that's going to be a raggedy. He just wants thing. you to have rose glasses <laughs> on. He won't, like you said, you already had the answer. That's the answer mm-hmm. is that is a lot of other things going on. But it's a certain class of people that he really don't want to be with us. He don't want them saying, hey, you know what? He's playing us. They have so much pride, yep. and that's why they they it's it's in that pride is eating them up on the inside. Right. You know the diversionary tactics of Donald Trump are. I mean, come on. Now yeah. the one thing I will say, he is a true magician. Yeah, he yeah. has the Illusions. sleight of hand. Illusionist, right. thank you. Yeah. He has the sleight of hand. Yeah. He doesn't want you to see over yeah. to the yeah. left. What he's it's doing is misdirection. Yeah. 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 So he's a he's a pro now. You can't well, take that from him. He's a pro at that. I, I actually said a year ago, and I took a lot of heat for this because people thought I was crazy right here on this show. But I said Donald Trump is one of the smartest men in America, and if you're not careful, he's going to end up the president. Yeah, and yeah, people thought I was crazy. Hey, he ain't going to be Hillary. You, yeah, yep. you know. Yeah, so you know. So it, you know. Damn, it, 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 it kind of it kind of <laughs> yeah, it kind of <laughs> is what it is. Eight zero four four zero two two eight nine three is the number. Die rock with us. We roll with you. You know the thing with you know i guess those two things are on the 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 table so i'm gonna kind of go back and then i'm gonna bring in one other thing uh but you know the whole thing with the folks kneeling now you know when it was just when it was when it was just colin kaepernick and maybe a few i think they said last week joe that it was like maybe 10 or 15 people, whatever it was. Right. And then this week you had whole teams. Yes. Whole teams. Whole teams. Whole teams. You know, you know, you, you, you had the Steelers and the Titans. <laughs> I think was the Steelers. Who did, did they? No, the Bears. The Bears. The, they, no, the they, Bears. The, 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 the Steelers. The Steelers was in the tunnel. Who didn't even come out? But it was the Steelers. The Steelers in the tunnel. Who, 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 Tennessee and who? It's Tennessee and somebody. Seattle. In Seattle. Yeah, they stayed in okay. the locker room. Okay. I knew that. I knew that there was one game where both teams stayed in the locker room. So it was the. It was Seattle and Tennessee, yeah. and then I know that the Steelers, all but one guy, yeah. actually did it. And you know, we're talking about over 200 people in an odd kind of way. You know, with his divisiveness and just his uh, way of, quite frankly, rubbing folks the wrong way. Yeah. He's had a way of bringing folks together. You've got people on both sides of this argument that are now looking to boycott the NFL. Like, yeah. that's the cra- that To me, that's the craziest part, Joe. Yeah. I'm with you, yeah, yeah. but that, that's not gonna happen. You it's know, that branding but, is so tight, they're not, they're they, not, they're not worried it. about that no more, Well, I, I, I realize that, but that's not my point. Yeah. Oh no, I understand what you're saying. What, what, yeah. yeah, I mean, I guess what I'm saying is, you got folks who, on opposite sides of the yes. argument, yep. who are looking to boycott the National Football League. Yeah. Now, I heard an odd theory, you know, here, 
today uh, on one of the shows I was listening to. I would give credit, but unfortunately, I don't remember who actually said it. But basically, it was the idea that Donald Trump, knowing the things that he says are pretty incendiary, he had to know, first of all, the ratings have been down. Yeah. You know, and there are a lot of reasons. The the lot, the lot of reasons. There's a lot of reasons why the ratings have been down. It's it's not all black people boycotting the game. Mm-hmm. So sorry, people don't think that it's all that. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's a part. I think that's a part of. I think that's a part of it. But <laughs> if you really go and you look at the numbers, you'll see mm-hmm. that the ratings have been steadily dropping right. for the last four or five years. So it's it's, it's not all this. They blame but us, the millennials. It, 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 yeah, it's, yeah, because you guys are doing other stuff and it's right. red zone, it's fantasy. <laughs> There's a lot of reasons. Yeah. But let me let me just get to this point. Basically, you have some folks who actually think that Donald Trump knows the ratings are down. So he goes and he helps yep. his friends by saying something crazy that instead of people saying, well, I'm a boycott the NFL, now I'm going to go watch just to spite him. Or right. see who was going to do what yeah. And, yeah. and continue to watch. Basically, exactly. Basically <laughs> yeah. sending and more yeah. eyes. And, 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 and it, yesterday was, from a couch coach standpoint, the mm-hmm. games was a trip. The people you thought were supposed to win, oh yeah, they yeah. didn't win. They lost. Yesterday was probably one of the best. It was a lot of inspiring football. It was a lot. It was a lot. Yesterday was one of the best days in regular season football. Well, it's a long time. In, wow. a, in, a, in a very. In a and very, that's from a Giants fan over there. Well, I mean, I, I'm, I'm a, <laughs> I mean, I'm a, 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 I'm a,
Hey, y'all scared of him? Whatever. I'm gonna, you know, what I'm saying, okay, because they're they yeah. they're they're scared. They deal with fear. But but to me, it kind of remind me almost like you're you're like that with the bullies where we're trying to. Yeah, that's it's almost I'm like yeah. it's almost like if you know, do a little conjecture. Uh, Christmas story when little Ralphie, like when the boy yeah. the boy with the wolf head. Yeah. All of a sudden, he got to a point where look. I got fed up and I'm going to go crazy. Yeah. No, Keep gonna poking the bag. Keep yeah, poking the bag. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> right. like, like, oh, so y'all so scared of this dude. You know, I'm, I'm Donald Trump. I'm not scared of him. But oh, you know, oh, rocking man. You you got something. But you it's know not even really about, you know. Five times, though. But you know what, Diva? I want you to jump in here. Because okay. for me, it's, it's, not, it's not really about being the tough guy. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, you, you know, I don't know if I'm articulating this the right way, Diva. But my, my thing is. We know that this dude is not stable based right. on the human humanitarian issues that we that he has going on in his country. Mm-hmm. And we know that we just don't rock with him. Our you know, strong allies, we got Japan, South Korea. We wanna hold them down. But I just don't think that it's smart to be so nasty and insulting for no reason other than to puff your chest out. Mm-hmm. And yeah. I want your thoughts on that. I, I definitely agree. Like, I'm not a big political person, but I think it makes, you know, just normal common sense not to be trying to start a nuclear war. Like, that right. makes no sense to me. And both of them crazy, apparently. So yeah. I guess they just don't care about the lives of millions of people. But I just um, think that it's crazy that, you know, the rocket man and the dotard should dotard. find themselves <laughs> in Nambia. <laughs> where they can go and discover Kafefe, <laughs> you know, and maybe start a war with Zamunda and Wakanda. <laughs> <laughs> Did I do good? You like yeah, it? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Jump in here, Q-Buggy. It's um, North Korea for, what, about the last 50 to 60 years have based almost all of their understanding of the U.S. on propaganda so all we have to do is say the wrong thing and they're going to make an entire, like they have kids. I was watching one of my favorite shows on HBO last week tonight with John Oliver. I don't know why I plugged that, but it's one of my favorite shows. Yeah, that's your boo thing. Like you, uh, plug, you, boo, you plug it every show. He is. I love him. with a little English stuff. So mm-hmm. he was talking about the entire segment on North Korea and how they have math books that say if one American... I uh, think they call it one American bastard does this to another American bastard and the two American bastards die. How many American bastards die? Like stuff like that yeah. are what these kids are learning day in and day out. They are ingratiated in learning how to hate America. So in knowing that, why are you poking that bear? That's the thing that pisses me oh. off so much because I'm like, you care more about your base that's sitting in the middle of America that has no real reach outside of Fox News, outside of Breitbart, <laughs> outside of any other things that coincide with what they already believe. And you're just pandering to that because you're like, ooh, it makes me feel good. I'm like, we ain't got time for you to feel good, right. yo. He, he said that he has a missile that can make it to New York City. Why are we playing with that? That's the thing that pisses me off. No, I, I, I can dig it. Jump in here, big bro. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, certain things. You know, one thing I will say about that is we know that Kim Jong-un is crazy. We, mm-hmm. We've already established oh, yes. that fact. His entire family is. We know that Donald Trump is intelligent enough to poke the bear that he knows that even though, like Marcus J. said, you're going to lose some skin, we're going to lose a little bit of skin, but they're going to scuff up more. Than, if they come for us like that, they're going to they're gonna get way more scuffed up than we are. I mean, yeah. But I don't want to put, our, being a vet, I don't want to put our boys in harm's way yeah, like that. Right. I don't want to put anybody in harm's well, we, way like we, that. We, we, we saw what happened, you saw firsthand, Joe, what happened when little itty-bitty countries act a damn fool with yeah. Kuwait. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and, you know, but we also know what happens when countries just a little bit bigger like Iraq and Afghanistan, they could tie you up for decades. Right. Yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? And we as Americans are not used to having war on American soil. You know what I'm saying? Like when we go to war, we go to other people's countries to go to war. Like we, 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 we have this thing where, 
you know, I'm gonna just come to your house and tear your shit up. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like you can't come I'm here. Mess up my you know, don't don't come here and, and mess mine. I'm gonna well, come to your it. house and, and tear up your house. The only war we've ever had here was the civil was war, the civil war, and we didn't fought our own selves. <laughs> well, yeah, <laughs> for yeah. no reason. And you know, it's a very interesting point. I didn't even think about that. I was it the civil and the revolutionary? Revolutionary war. Revolution. Yeah, the last war we had well, was yeah, the civil but, war. The civil. Yeah, 150 years. Yeah. But that's that's stuff that we did to ourselves. Self inflicted. Yeah. Self inflicted. You, know? you know, it's crazy because. You know, I, I, there's a you know there's a lot of these discussions going around, and you know there's a meme out there. And I, I I've been posting it, but I can't remember it verbatim. But it says something along the lines of, you know, America has mistreated us for 300 years, didn't allow us to get the benefit of being American for the next hundred years and then for the last 50 years been figuring out interesting ways to lock us up and they don't understand why we don't view their history or our history because we should say our history with the same level of reverence you know we can be respectful of the Constitution and be respectful of the country that which we live in but we also have to be mindful that part of the rhetoric in the Constitution lines us up as three-fifths of human and there's some science behind that that was done specifically to give the south power mm -hmm. during the civil war with regards to the electoral college yes. that's why that was done and it was never amended you, you know what i'm saying so I, I i had a guy that i was going back and forth with in social media I, actually i wasn't going back and forth because you only got you only get one time to insult me mm -hmm. You know, you I mean, know we that. can we can we can we can debate and be fair and all of that kind of stuff. But once you make it personal, I'm going to go ahead and bury you that one time and then I'm done. You know, I'm not going to do the back and forth. Come see me. <laughs> you know what I'm well, saying? He got like, real tight all of a sudden. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he got real tight. <laughs> because <laughs> because I think he forgot he was talking to. <laughs> well, I, I, I say that because a lot of these folks is getting real oh, reckless yeah. with how they coming for you oh, yeah. because Donald Trump yeah, he's, has he's giving, you know, he's giving you that license and, and yeah. there's another thing and, and I know Q Boogie will appreciate this one there's yeah. a t-shirt going on we not your, our grandparents we'll, we'll knock you out we'll, we'll, we'll no. kick your ass see these hands yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. Cause cause I'm not my hands either. right yeah I'm not my ass yeah that's what it is I'm not my I'll knock you out you know yeah 80440 Two two eight nine three. I guess I had mentioned earlier about how the president uh, did not realize the correct pronunciation of the country and uh, uh, of Namibia is what he was <laughs> probably trying to say. But here's the thing, right? We can laugh about it. I made the Kafefi Nambia Wakanda Zamunda joke, right? But here's the deal, Sean. Here's the deal. What's up? If I want to ingratiate myself to you. You think I would know your damn name? Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And this is what I mean when, when we normalize bad behavior. Because you're going to get a whole section of the American people that's going to say, well, you know what he meant. No. Because there's three countries that it could have been. Yeah. Nambia. Could have been Gambia. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it wasn't. He was speaking of Namibia. Could have been China, the way he says it. China. <laughs> China. You know, but but seriously, it, it could have been Gambia. It could have been Zambia. But yeah, it was man. probably yeah. It it was probably Namibia. But see, the the problem is, he doesn't care. Yeah, he doesn't right. care. He and doesn't. He he, he, he right. doesn't care. Oh, he talked about right. how his friends come here to get rich. To get He's trying to ingratiate himself by saying, my friends come here to get rich. It's a compliment. If that isn't the epitome of privilege, white privilege, yeah. rich privilege, whatever it is you want to call him, Sean, what do you think, man? <laughs> so what is the question? Well, <laughs> just comment. Just, just comment. Mean, just like, comment. Man, it's Donald Trump. Bro, <laughs> like you know what I mean? It, it is what it is. He's been this way for the longest. Like I'm not shocked. He is the president of the United States, and he literally said, "If I was to run, I would run Republican." Like I'm just, you know, what I mean, that's what I said earlier. Like it, it, I'm not, sh I'm, I'm, I'm not even shocked. I'm more shocked of the people because I'm a universal dude, so I have universal friends, and I'm. They were so hyped up 
about voting for him. And now when I speak to him, yeah, I knew he was going to win that time, but he he ain't going to win the next one. <laughs> we don't care about next time. Yeah, we you know, we in next. Yeah, I'm more I'm shocked at them. And then I seen them. I hadn't seen them in a while, you know, on Facebook posted. But he hit something this time with what he said with the NFL. Like I said, it's a certain people. I call them low vibration. I'm going to keep it 100. I call them lower vibration. Vibrational people. You know what I mean? Yep. Sure. And, um, yeah. <laughs> and and uh, they jump in right to the anthem and the discussions I was having today. You know, you can't play me. I'm universal. You can't play me. I can see it from both sides. You know, I'm a military kid also, and you know, if you, I can see it from both sides. My my uncle was in Hamburger Hill. You know what I'm saying? And then he died at 49 because of that. You know, maybe you can help Agent me, Orange. Big Joe. There you go. And then got paid six months later. And that was in the 90s. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? My father went to the first Gulf for his military intelligence. He broke a story to me about a couple weeks ago where he was working with the Air Force, even though he was in the Army. The commander at the Air Force liked my dad. He said, hey, man, I need this area right here. If I can get some film on this area right here, we may be able to hit them. And then it'll take a, 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 it'll be easier for us to go in there. We may be able to end this war. My father had the clearance and then went to the Army, told his commander, and then that was able to happen. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. I see it from both sides. But my, my uncle and my father would still be like, boy, you better kneel down. You know, I'm going to say this, and then I'm going to throw it back. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to throw it back to Joe. One, one, one of the things that I find very difficult when I've got somebody that's white try to tell me how I need to respect the flag and how I need to respect the country and I got to respect all of that. Like, trust me, I get it. And, and I personally am a respectful person. Very much you know, so. I'm not the guy that's going to be standing there with my, my hand over my heart. I never did that. I didn't do that as a kid. I never did that. But I always stood. And if I was in the stadium, I probably would stand. That's just how I am. Yeah. And, I, and I salute those who choose not to yeah. because it's their right, mm -hmm. just like it's my right. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Right. Mm -hmm. Having said that, when I'm having these conversations with these white folks to trying to tell me how great America is and all of this shit, like, yeah, America is mm -hmm. dope. It really is. When you look at how the world is and we look at all the other places we could be, mm -hmm. I would yeah. rather oh, yeah. be you here. You don't want to catch yeah. I would, I, I would, I would rather be, I would, yeah, we, yeah. I would rather be here. Mm -hmm. But don't give me this, if you don't want to be here, leave the right. country stuff. Like, right. don't give me that. Because that, 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 that to me is nonsense, one. And two, my 75-year-old father is a veteran of the United yeah. States Army, Vietnam era, not Vietnam, but Vietnam era. Yeah. And when he came home, he had to drink from a black's only water fountain and couldn't necessarily go into the places and eat and stuff like that. Yeah. And he's still living yeah. to be able to tell me this. Right. This is not old history. This is right. now. now. Yeah. 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 This is now. So, spa yeah. so, so spare me because I'm supposed to respect the flag that didn't respect my father. Right. And they pick it on. And to piggyback on, on what you're saying, too, because a lot of people, like, I get into these arguments, too, about it. They talk about, well, it's about the military, but what do we do when we see a guy on, on the street that's a disabled veteran, and he's got his great change all day so he can eat? Mm -hmm. what, what do we do with, these, with the situation now? Right. When they come back, they're homeless. Right. They're destitute. And then they have a, a, a terrible VA system. Right. That, so I'm just like... You expect so it's almost like you expect us in a sense to have that type of respect when you don't even give respect to the people who you claim that we need to give respect to it's a, it's as a country. Same, it's, it's just an oxymoron. It's the same equivalent of we don't want you to abort that baby, but I don't want to pay for that baby when he's out here. Yeah, like right. that's it. It's the exact exactly. same thing. Yep. Like but you know what's process. you know what's crazy about it all, Diva? I think the piece that gets lost because I certainly didn't bring it up today, and none of you guys did either. But the original kneeling was not even about the flag. And that's what I was about to say. It, it just right. it, I told him today, I said, you can't play with me. It, I mean, it, I ain't going to get no arguments because you it's can't not, play me. But it's, you feel it, me? It, it, like, it, it just wasn't right. about it the wasn't flag. It wasn't about that. We need to get back to, and I made this analogy, right? I'm about to cuss to make a point. Sweet. When Fuck the Police came out, nobody cared that somebody got so in their feelings that they wrote a song called Fuck the Police. Yeah. Right. They didn't care that somebody got so upset that they wrote a song called Cop Killer. Mm -hmm. Like, you actually wrote down 
lyrics and 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 wrote a song called cop killer mm -hmm. like really like think about that for yeah. a second right. ultimately these people was kneeling to protest police brutality yeah right mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. towards it's everybody spin hello right. yeah. you don't know what the right hand is. hey we're gonna talk about this but yeah. to get it off of that yeah. Yeah. we're gonna say it's about this right yeah. come and, on and, and what what fascinates me, and it's just so, and it's and it's so crazy thing. And I remember when that tw Twitter picture of Colin Kaepernick kneeling, August twenty six, two thousand sixteen, on a Friday. This day we're playing the Forty Nineers. I think the third preseason, and I cannot believe today we're sitting here. It was September twenty fifth, mm -hmm. twenty seventeen, almost a, a year, almost. 13 months later mm -hmm. and, and this still is an issue yeah. it's, 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 it just baffles me and, and being yeah. a, um, spiritual it, lucky that we're kneeling lucky that we just holding elbows Yo. the real truth is we turn our back that's yeah. gonna be the real issue because we done I read that I read that today like you better be lucky that all black people want is um, reparations and not revenge but you know it's crazy <laughs> that you say that though because every single Every single race of people, every single group of people, the ones that fought was the ones that got reparations. Mm -hmm. You know, we never fought a war behind this. You know what I'm saying? Like, we, 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 just, we just didn't. Mm -hmm. And I think it, it, it gets to a point where you know what you're going to get. Yep. Mm -hmm. And so you're just going about, you know, your, your, your merry way. Like, you know that the black people is just going to do what they're going to do. Mm -hmm. And we, we know we, they're going to march. They might they might burn a town down, but after a while it's gonna go away and and, and, and and until something else comes up and it goes back to that whole same cycle again. Well let me ask a quick question. I mean, being a vet, do you know how much I give a damn about you standing and, and saluting the flag or putting your hand over your heart or singing uh, the national anthem, I could care less because the freedoms that we fight for to make sure that they don't, that, that we still have here, that we try to go over to somebody else's house and fight for, and they won't even fight, ooh, that's a whole nother thing, mm -hmm. goes back to the fact that that's because America is free. Yeah. For <laughs> right. yeah. We have the right to not, to not stand. I'm going to just say this because you know me, I'm a Cowboys fan. Tonight, in less than 10 minutes, I swear to you, I want to see oh, yes. what they sit there and say. Because Jerry Jones. Yeah, I've been seeing a lot of people talking I'm, about Jerry Jones. Yo, I'm, about to, I'm calling him out on this one because he sit there and said, if you don't stand and put your hand over your heart. And what he said, and excuse me for this one for a minute, LB, but Marcus J, he, 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 he used the N-word. He told y'all, niggas, you're going to stand and do what I told you to do. And I, be careful. But that's what he said. I mean, in, in retrospect, that's what he said. Mm -hmm. He took ownership and tell you, he made you a slave all over again right. because master told you that you can't do something. And if you do it, he going to tell you to somebody else. Or in mm -hmm. this day and age, he going to cut your money off and he going right. to fire you. Quote, unquote, it, fire you. Yeah. Mm. I mean, come on. Right. I also looked at the point. Coach, help me out on this one. Yeah. The Jaguars, Jacksonville Jaguars. Yeah. I looked at the list of people who donated money to... Uh, uh, Donald Trump, number forty-five, at the top of the list was you know all that was New England yeah. and Jerry um, Jones J did it. Uh, Jackson Daniel Snyder, Daniel Snyder, Snyder unfortunately, yeah. Jacksonville, the Muslim the guy down in Shaka. I mean that's um, that is, it's, um Sashi Khan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sashi Jacksonville. Yeah, Jacksonville. He but he was out on the field. So are people changing their minds? That's or what was I'm that trying to a, tell you. Yeah, no. are they, they changing their minds or no, was that know. a? No. A ploy was that it a? Was. I think it's, it's, it's a I think it's a ploy. I told you it's a ploy. I told you it's a trigger. It was because a trigger. I had I had to do a little deep digging because to me, oh wait a minute, I, this is my thing. Okay, yeah, yeah, this is my thing with it because in 2009 there was a point that the players during the national anthem would still be in the locker room, right? But the National Football League was paid through the Justice Department x amount of money. To become more of a patriotic league, right. so when you see those home, those com guys coming from the military and they're having these surprise homecomings, that was a, called a recruiting tool for people to join the military. Right. So the NFL was getting actually paid off of those type of those type of I, would, I don't know performances or you, you can you consider that at this point. Shit. Basically, During paid, the, basically yes. paid patriotism. Yeah, pretty Patriot. much. Yeah. So, well, that, so that's why I figured, and that's why my thing was is like to be okay. 
Yeah. So so go ahead, Joe. Hey, I mean, I'm just wow. If you see it. what I'm just seeing, I don't believe it. I don't believe it, yo. I don't believe, the I, Cowboys. I don't even know Jerry Jones, but I know that he's. <laughs> but wait, you didn't just see what he did? He, he did that. He was that, kneeling. No, that right there is optics. That is not real. right. Oh, now nah, that's, <laughs> that's, 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 that's what you're right. To say. Yeah. Because just like the point I was just saying, because. My thing is to end all this. Guess what? Just tell the defense department we what? don't want your money. What? Ain't everybody going to the locker room? Everybody's mm-hmm. not watching the football game, so I want to make sure that when we start speaking about stuff, we, okay. we set it up. And so every Monday night we we do this show, and sometimes we're in here we're watching games or whatever is on the television, and the Dallas Cowboys is playing against I guess the Arizona Cardinals, right. and during the national anthem. They all stood arm to arm, but it's on mute, so we don't know at what point it was. But the entire Dallas Cowboys team, including owner Jerry Jones, all took a very brief knee. They all dropped down to one knee and then stood back up. That's what Q Boogie is referring to with you. regards optics. to optics. So. And and I and I think to me that was probably the fakest shit I've yeah. seen. Exactly. Yeah, that was right. fakest, it's optics. Like yeah, well, that was that was optics. So that I was group think. That I was see. well. Everybody else is doing it, so we might as well do it because I don't now, want to be the heel in this we, situation. We we are, you know, and I guess I'm glad that we're watching this because it speaks to the topic that we're speaking so to. But the national <laughs> anthem is <laughs> being the, the, the national anthem is being is being sung right now. It, it's it's being sung right, right now. now. So that kneel that they did a minute ago was pre- was pre done. And I guess they kind of right. thought it was some sort of compromise. And maybe. that's what it was. And that's what it was. That's it, what was it was to appease. Yeah. It was a, an appeasal. But right. you know what? The, that yeah. you know what that did. Truthfully, what that did was tell me that Jerry Jones is not as stupid as he want to sit out there and say because he was going to lose a lot of money by trying. Because those guys, if you look at Des Bryant, if you look at uh, Zeke, if you look at those fellas, those guys know they're not stupid. Right. They're smart enough to know that. Guess what? You do that, and I will sue you. And Jerry Jones has a lot of money, but he don't want to lose a lot of money. money. I I, I think that was Jerry's way of saying, I understand, but y'all still not going to do this. I got a question. And and, and, and that to me is fake. That's the thing that's bothering me right right now. Like watching this right now and watching the look of it's it's so. It's it's, it's forced. It's It's forced. It's forced. It's scripted. It's 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 very scripted. It's so like. I got a question. Yeah, that's all. And then the other thing, I, the thing I showed you yesterday, um, I'm, I was on Tumblr, and one of the guys broke that. He did a thread on Tumblr about how you can defame or deface the flag. And one of the ways in which they just did the whole pulling the flag out onto the yeah. field is actually it's a, a means yes. to defame the, the yeah, flag. Because it's supposed to be, hang upright and, right, and, uh, and fly. Right, and, and fly. y'all did this is like, salute the flag. Well, you're actually saluting it wrong because right. you're holding it wrong. And y'all want to talk about that. And, yeah, and it's funny to go back, and I, and I want to ask you guys too, and I've noticed maybe, you know, during this whole Colin Kaepernick era, that normally when they do the, the playing of the national anthem, normally we go to a commercial break. We never really seen that until this yeah. until this year. Right. I mean, no, it's, it's been like a good like it's been a, while. a decade or so right. because it just yeah. the military got in part. Yeah, the two thousand and nine situation. Yeah. yeah but you know what's crazy, I man? I had a meme that I TV, posted. Yeah. I, I, I had a meme that I posted that showed a couple of cats sitting there on the couch drinking and chilling yeah. during the national anthem. But on social media, they want to look like Captain America. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like to 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 me, it's just it it's it's paid patriotism. It's strategic. It's yeah. when you feel like it, and it's more American bullying of its citizens, yep. uh, its peer citizens, by saying this is the way I think things should be. If you don't agree with me, you're wrong. Absolutely. And if you and if and if you act in a way that does not is not consistent with my value set. Then you're gonna have consequences, and I got a problem with that. I, I, I'm gonna tell you something. The way they're going with all this fakeness, I think, and y'all may not agree. I think Colin Kaepernick is gonna eventually get a job. Uh, well, I said that well, a long time. Ago. I don't but think so. We talked about I, I that. I think so. The I way they're that. going, I said that a long time ago. I, I, I think, I, I think he could potentially by midseason, by by the buys, by midseason. Because he, could he be said he's not gonna him. kneel anymore anyway. Well, he said that before he opted yeah. out of his deal. But you know, it's crazy. As much as they hated. Hated Michael Vick. He's on TV every Sunday morning. Telling him and, to cut his hair off. But that's the reason why he did that. That's, why he that's said what it. that's what we talked about on that's the show. We it. talked about I was like, I know something's on the horizon for him because why would he say something like of that of that nature? I guarantee you that ink wasn't dry on that Fox deal mm. when he said that. Yeah. <laughs> Joe, take the final word. 
Yeah, I mean, I just look at a lot of the fake stuff. I mean, we've seen a lot of fake. We just watched that. You know, if you're watching television, you just watched that fakeness. I watched Ray Lewis. <laughs> Did we talk about it? You, 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 you missed it. And we talked about that you when you got I mean, yeah, yeah you know, I was taking your business. <laughs> no, I was like, <laughs> yeah. one of the friends that I follow on Facebook and said, like, look at him and his take me to the king. Take cast. me to the king. <laughs> it's just like. Yeah. Hey, that's it for me, man. I, that, that, I think we, uh, I think, I think, I th- yeah, yeah, I think we, <laughs> <laughs> we didn't beat that horse. I think we beat the dead horse. Um, <laughs> let me just, let me just close it out with this. Sorry. You know, I, I don't want this to seem like we're bashing the president of the United States. The reality is the things that he does warrants a discussion and it warrants a fair discussion from folks who agree or disagree. You just happen to be listening to a show where, uh, 100 and one percent of the people don't happen to agree with him but I, I i will always maintain a level of respect for the office while at the same time not necessarily having a whole lot of respect for the person that holds the office and you know how step with marcus j live from the den legacy internet radio we are going to take a break we come back we got dating pool diva and the diva diaries we got three versus three i don't know how this is going to go but knowing her is going to be dope. I'm Marcus J. That's the couch coach. That's Sean Love. That's the dating pool diva, Big Bro Joe, Q Boogie, and me. And you, the crew, be back in a few. Oh, hey, gosh. this is Warren Ballantyne, the number one truth writer in America. And I'm listening to my man, my brother, Marcus J, right here on Legacy Internet Radio. Holistic care for the mind, body, and spirit. Free Spirit Enterprises, LLC, is a parent company for organic creations, jewelry by design, Miller Publishing, and consultation services. Organic Creations offers you the best in natural homemade skin and hair care products. Jewelry by Design allows you, the customer, to design your own jewelry as it is custom made just for you. Thinking of self-publishing a book or novel? Check out Miller Publishing and Consultation Services. Free Spirit Enterprises is where holistic care meets mind, body, and spirit. Visit us at freespiritenterprisesco.biz. That's F-R-E-E-S-P-I-R-I-T-E-N-T-E-R-P-R-I-S-E-S-C-O dot B-I-Z. Or you can call 804-252-6562. Like us on Facebook under Free Spirit Enterprises, LLC.